Hey everybody, welcome to Tuesday's workout, Radar. Radar, we're gonna get into some running, some lateral dumbbell burpees, and some dumbbell deadlifts. So, here's what it looks like. It's four time, one time through. You're gonna do a 400 meter run, and then nine, 12, 15 dumbbell deadlifts and lateral dumbbell burpees. Then we're gonna get into an 800 meter run. Then we're gonna go 15, 12, nine on those same dumbbell deadlifts and lateral dumbbell burpees. And we're gonna finish off with one final 400 meter run. Remember in those rounds of the dumbbell deadlifts and the lateral dumbbell burpees, you're gonna do nine dumbbell deadlifts, then nine burpees. 12 of the deadlifts, 12 burpees, and so on in your rounds. So let's take a look at the movements and we'll come back, talk mods and strategies. Let's talk modifications. So for our runs, the 400 should be a run effort that lasts us no more than two and a half minutes and then the 800 no more than five minutes. So if you feel like that's something that you're gonna get capped on those runs, let's pick a shorter distance that allows you to get those done in that amount of time. You could mod out with a rower if you have one of those. We have uh, shuttle run options and if you have bikes and all that other stuff at home, there's plenty of that down in the workout description. Same thing, check the distances in the workout description for the, for the 400 and the 800 meter run. For those double, or for the dumbbell deadlifts, you could use two dumbbells and do them both on the outside of your body. As you saw in the description video for the demo, I only used one because that's what I have. So pick a modification, still those are down in the notes, that works for you. Talk to a coach. If you're doing double, you'll be 15, 12, 9, 9, 12, 15, depending on if you're in the beginning or the end of the workout. And uh, you could use odd objects. If you're doing single dumbbells, maybe you choose to do the 15, 12, 9 on each side. If that weight's really heavy for you with that one dumbbell, maybe you just do it one time through. Again, message one of us, get in a Zoom class, and we'll work with you to get the right modification for each person. For our burpees, remember, we have lots of options for those. We are gonna do the burpee and do some form of a hop getting to the other side of that dumbbell, whether hopefully we can get over the dumbbell with a two foot jump. If we can't, we could always do a little one foot step over the dumbbell. We could jump up behind the dumbbell and make a lateral hop behind it and just use the dumbbell kind of as that placeholder for what we're jumping over. Once again, talk to a coach, we'll get you the mod that works best for you. All right, let's talk strategy. So strategy, when we attack this one, depending on the weight of your dumbbells and the deadlifts that you're using, that could change the burpees and the running portion of this a little bit. But in general, we're probably gonna attack our runs and our burpees at a little bit more of a moderate pace so that the only thing we'll ever have to break up is our dumbbell deadlift as our grip kind of maybe starts to go out. So choose paces on your runs and dumbbells that allow you to thrive, or runs and burpees, that allow you to thrive on your deadlifts. All right, guys, have fun. Once again, message a coach if you have any questions that we didn't cover here. Uh, like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. I hear that's what people on YouTube say. So do that, message a coach, get in a Zoom class, have fun, hit this one hard, and we'll see you again tomorrow for another workout. Bye, guys.